The International Alphabet of Sanskrit Transliteration is a transliteration scheme that allows the lossless romanization of Indic scripts as employed by Sanskrit and related Indic languages. It is based on a scheme that emerged during the 19th century from suggestions by Charles Trevelyan, William Jones, Monier Monier Williams and other scholars, and formalized by the Transliteration Committee of the Geneva Oriental Congress, in September 1894. IAST makes it possible for the reader to read the Indic text unambiguously, exactly as if it were in the original Indic script. It is this faithfulness to the original scripts that accounts for its continuing popularity amongst scholars. Use University scholars commonly use IAST in publications that cite textual material in Sanskrit, Pali and other classical Indian languages. IAST is also used for major e-text repositories such as Sarat, Muktabada, Gretil, and SanskritDocuments.org. The IAST scheme represents more than a century of scholarly usage in books and journals on classical Indian studies. By contrast, the ISO 15919 standard for transliterating Indic scripts emerged in 2001 from the Standards and Library Worlds. It includes solutions to problems such as representing Old Indo Aryan and New Indo Aryan languages side by side in library catalogues, etc. For the most part, ISO 15919 follows the IAST scheme, departing from it only in minor ways, e.g., M, M, and R, R. See comparison below. The Indian National Library at Kolkata Romanization, intended for the romanization of all Indic scripts, is an extension of IAST. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Inventory and Conventions. The IAST letters are listed with their Devanagari equivalents and phonetic values in IPA, valid for Sanskrit, Hindi and other modern languages that use Devanagari script, but some phonological changes have occurred. The highlighted letters are those modified with diacritics, long vowels are marked with an overline, vocalic syllabic consonants and retroflexes have an underdot. Unlike ASCII only romanizations such as ITRANS or Harvard Kyoto, the diacritics used for IAST allow capitalization of proper names. The capital variants of letters never occurring word initially are useful only when writing in all caps and in Panini contexts for which the convention is to typeset the IT sounds as capital letters. Comparison with ISO 15919 For the most part, IAST is a subset of ISO 15919 that merges, the retroflex underdotted liquids with the vocalic ones ringed below, and the short close mid-vowels with the long ones. The following seven exceptions are from the ISO standard accommodating an extended repertoire of symbols to allow transliteration of Devanagari and other Indic scripts, as used for languages other than Sanskrit. <laughs> <laughs> Computer input by alternative keyboard layout The most convenient method of inputting romanized Sanskrit is by setting up an alternative keyboard layout. This allows one to hold a modifier key to type letters with diacritical marks. For example, Alt plus A equals A. How this is set up varies by operating system. Linux Modern Linux systems allow one to set up custom keyboard layouts and switch them by clicking a flag icon in the menu bar. macOS 1 can use the pre-installed US International Keyboard, or install Toshiba Unibee's Easy Unicode keyboard layout. A revision of this is Srivatsa R's Easy Yast. Microsoft Windows Windows also allows one to change keyboard layouts and set up additional custom keyboard mappings for IAST. Topic computer input by selection from a screen Many systems provide a way to select Unicode characters visually. ISO, IEC 14755 refers to this as a screen selection entry method. Microsoft Windows has provided a Unicode version of the Character Map program find it by hitting Win plus R then type Charmap then hit Enter since version NT 4.0 appearing in the Consumer Edition since XP. 
This is limited to characters in the Basic Multilingual Plane BMP. Characters are searchable by Unicode character name, and the table can be limited to a particular code block. More advanced third-party tools of the same type are also available a notable freeware example is Babelmap. macOS provides a «character palette» with much the same functionality, along with searching by related characters, glyph tables in a font, etc. It can be enabled in the input menu in the menu bar under System Preferences International Input Menu or System Preferences Language and Text Input Sources or can be viewed under Edit Emoji and Symbols in many programs. Equivalent tools, such as Gacharmap or Kcharselect exist on most Linux desktop environments. Users of SIM on Linux-based platforms can also have the opportunity to install and use the SA iTrans IAST input handler which provides complete support for the ISO 15919 standard for the romanization of Indic languages as part of the M17N library. Font support Only certain fonts support all Latin Unicode characters for the transliteration of Indic scripts according to the ISO 15919 standard. For example, Tahoma supports almost all the characters needed. Arial and Times New Roman font packages that come with Microsoft Office 2007 and later also support most Latin extended additional characters like D, H, L, L, M, N, N, R, S and T. However, the growing trend amongst academics working in the area of Sanskrit studies is towards using Gentium font which has complete support for all the conjoined diacritics used in the IAST character set. See also <laughs>